single and you want to meet someone? In the Twin Cities, the nightclub scene's one place to be. But what about in Minnesota's rural towns? It's not so simple. Take the tiny farming town of Herman, with no stoplight and a one-block main street, population 485. No nightclub here. There's a bank, two cafes, and a drugstore, but it's even worse than that. There's 78 bachelors and not enough single women, so I guess this is the place to be, huh? <laughs> this is a men-only restaurant. <laughs> Step into the Prairie Cafe and the cracks start immediately. Yeah, I don't know what, the, what our problem is. We need women, I guess, out here. <laughs> Are you girls single, by the way? She is. Okay. Uh, I'd like oh, to need introduce you to Steve Nelson here. Yeah. yeah. Steve's one of the so-called 78 no, on what's fast becoming a legendary list of bachelors. You're never going to hear the end of this, huh? No, never. 36-year-old single farmer Dan Ellison started this frenzy that's now got the whole town talking. We're going to try to stimulate it, too, to, because this is, this is worthwhile doing. From the local the newspaper editor. To create opportunities for those, for those educated, ambitious, and active women. To an economic development you know, like chief. Innovative. What started out as somewhat of a joke. Women are coming to town on the buses and trains, right? Alrighty. <laughs> has quickly <laughs> turned into serious business. So we, we bought the building to kind of... Herman will soon rehab its old hardware like, store into offices. Uh, we have a need for, I think, an accountant. In All in the hopes of attracting single women. Uh, lawyers. Computer services, technical services. Most of my classmates have all moved away. 25-year-old Michelle Corey is one of the few single women left. They don't even really talk about staying in Herman. It's just like, well, where am I going to live after I graduate from high school and then college? And here's further proof. So how many of you plan on staying here, young ladies only? <laughs> A poll of Not juniors one. and Nobody. seniors at Herman High School predicts an ongoing problem. No jobs. And there's nothing to do. <laughs> you basically you have your, your nursing homes or a hospital. Otherwise, you know, there's no real industry. It's got the bachelors lamenting about it in the liquor lounge. Just after 9 at night, all guys and no women. Oh, we just need one chance. <laughs> do you have women ever come into town from other towns to, like, check you out? Not that I know of. <laughs> Still single. <laughs> I'm looking for young gentlemen for correspondence and possible marriage. Young men between For Herman, all the attention is paying off. Pleasingly plump 19-year-old woman. Women are writing and calling from everywhere in I search of love. California, Colorado, Kansas, Minnesota, North Dakota, Indiana, Michigan, Kentucky, Washington, D.C. Wow. Uh, they're pretty good gentlemen, too. Sounds good, but we thought we'd do our part to help the bachelors. So here goes. Are we ready? Yes. My name is Petey. I'm 25 years old. I'm an honest, hardworking, lovable kind of guy. What do you want in a woman? I don't know. Yeah, my name is Dana Itson. I'm 29 years old. I like to hunt, fish, and water ski. And I offer you uh, clean country living. I guess the reason I'm up here is trying to help out all my friends and get, <laughs> get somebody to come down here. <laughs> At least we can say we tried to help the friendly, laid-back, family-oriented town of Herman woo single women. Come to Herman. 5'2 brunette, brown eyes. For Dimension, I'm Kathy Egan.